right, we're talking about a very vital part of our beauty routines, sunscreen. We all know we should be wearing it every day, but so many of us still don't. That's why Shobhana Lakavali is here with some goof-proof sunscreen options that will leave us with no white cast and no excuses. So Shobhana, uh, we all have lots of excuses when it comes to why we're not wearing our mm -hmm. sunscreen. What is the first excuse we're gonna be dealing with? Okay, so right before I get into that, yes. I'm gonna reiterate, if you have to do this every season, why we wanna use sunscreen, okay? Yes. So we know we get the sun like two days a year here in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but the sun is there all the time, all right? Yeah. And it can cause cancer, a lot of our aging, up to 90% of wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and also yeah. burns. And even if you're deeper skin tone, yes. you might be less at risk, but yeah. you're still at risk. And now with these beautiful sunscreens, you don't have an excuse. That's right, even when you're in the car, we've talked about mm -hmm. this, like you're getting sun in from the sunroof, you're yeah. getting sun in from the window, you're supposed to wear your sunscreen, and even with all that and everything I know and hosting this show, sometimes I don't. I'm a beauty expert. And I'm sorry, that. sometimes I don't. So you're gonna walk me through all the ones that are really gonna uh, work out with your skin. Your first excuse is what? You just don't have time for that extra step. Yeah. And that's where I am sometimes. Yeah. So I found a sunscreen that you can actually substitute and you know work double duty. So instead mm -hmm. of a moisturizer, use a sunscreen like this Biosan Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral uh -huh. um, that has sunscreen in it, but also your moisturizing ingredients. Okay. okay. And it feels good on the skin. So I actually want you to try it. This is a mineral sunscreen. Sure. So really great if you have sensitive skin, inflammation, yeah. rosacea, hyperpigmentation. So that comes in and we're trying to get a sunscreen that's really gonna, ooh, it feels good. Right? It feels yes. like a, it feels like a moisturizer and it's actually rubbing in. So and it I'm not smell. purple, I'm not gray. And it doesn't smell. Ooh. It's odorless. Yes, it is okay, odorless. Okay, very good. So yeah. a two in one is gonna do the thing and exactly. you can't say you didn't have the time. Right, right, yeah. exactly. So it's genius. And it's also on the Sephora clean list, which nice. is nice. So for someone that's conscious about ingredients, yeah. um, the Sephora Clean List is a great place to go because these are products that are made without 50 or more ingredients that customers have said, you know what, I don't want those. Yeah. I don't want those, right? So Beautiful. it's fair. Um, another excuse that yes. we hear often is, I don't like sunscreen because it's greasy, it smells, it doesn't feel good. Yes. You know? So I'm gonna introduce to you the sunscreen that is, does not look like sunscreen. Okay. It's unbelievable, okay? It actually changed the industry. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Let's try this Let's one try out. This. So life changing, it has changed the industry. Take a look at how that looks actually right off the bat. It's a gel, it's a clear gel. So, and it's very light. Right? Oh my gosh. Doesn't that feel so nice? That is so light. It, it has feels like incredible. And I haven't changed, I'm still brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good thing. I like that. Yeah, and you can actually, it feels nice under makeup. It kind of feels like a primer almost. Yes. Uh, and what's really nice about this brand is that they have offerings for tons of different types of sunscreen. Yeah. So there's no excuse. And it's also on the Sephora clean list as well. Good. Right? Um, and one of the ingredients that you won't find in any of these products is yeah. oxybenazone. So, I don't know if you've heard about it. No. It's been more of a controversial ingredient in sunscreen. Yeah. It used to be super popular in sunscreens, mm -hmm. but then studies started coming out that potentially it could impact coral reefs, our health. So a lot of brands have stepped away from using that ingredient yeah. um, until we know whether 100% it's safe or it's not safe, right? So okay. all of these guys don't have that ingredient in there. So we hear a lot of people complaining about the greasiness yes, of I've, sunscreen yes. and they're like, it feels like a mask, it feels like too much. Have we got a solution for that one? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen these guys? Is this Shiseido Clear sunscreen, sunscreen Stick of SPS, SPF like 50? It looks like deodorant. It does, right? Yeah. Um, and I want you to feel this. Yeah. Okay, super light. It doesn't even feel or look like sunscreen. Great for on the go. Oh, that's really If you good. want to reapply your sunscreen. Yeah. And I will tell you, with kids, the trick is to use a stick because it kind of feels like you're painting your face. So this is a brand I love for the kids. It's called Badger. Yes. Sophia just takes this, puts it on her face. You know, you're kind of letting them know, teaching them to put sunscreen in as soon as, 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 as young as they can be. Absolutely. So, I'm gonna, uh, put so make it a little bit fun for them. Yeah. And uh, I've spent many, many, uh, days, weeks, months, <laughs> chasing my kids with sunscreen. Yeah. So uh, it's really nice when you can have an easy way to apply it. I've never seen an application quite as easy right? as this. These the only fantastic. thing I would say is as yeah. easy as a roll-on is a spray, which I believe we're gonna get to, because yes. what's the next excuse? Okay, so the next excuse that we see quite often is, you know what, I got my face, but oh, I just don't wanna get my shoulders. They're gonna be like red and burning, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not I've okay. seen this, it's not okay. Um, so a really great product is a sunscreen spray. Avina yes. has lots 
lots of great pro uh, options yeah. at the drugstore level, and it goes on clear. So this is the kit option. Yeah, try yeah. it. Spray it on. You want to spray the sunscreen generously, and then you want to blend it in. All right. So you can see it goes on there. Uh, it goes on white, but we're rubbing it in. And when you say generously, mm -hmm. what are we talking about when it comes you to sunscreen? You want to make sure that it you it's white. It is covered. You're yeah. not seeing like brown spots shining through. Okay, you got it. You want full coverage sunscreen. Did you um, talk a little bit about the whole idea of two fingers? Yes, I was just going to get yeah, to it. Yeah, let's talk about that yep. because I've never heard that mentioned before in terms of how much you should be putting on your skin. For sure. So it's great that we're using sunscreen, but you want to use it properly. Otherwise, what's the point? Point, right? right. So a new kind of rule to help us understand how much to use is to use two finger lengths, okay? Okay. So this is how two finger lengths look like. You want to use this on your neck, your ears, under your eyes, and your entire face. Okay. okay? That's just for the face. This is just for the face, neck, okay. and ears. Um, and so you can't really have an excuse of I'm not using enough yes. or I'm not using too little. Um, and do not mix your sunscreens in with your foundations. Right. That that really <laughs> does that just de like degenerate Absolutely. the sunscreen. Absolutely. So if you're using an SPF 60 and you mix it in with your foundation, yeah. you don't know what SPF you're getting anymore. Yeah. Um, and also, it's not equally distributed. So okay. some areas might get less coverage than other areas. Shobana, thank you so much. Fantastic tips, and now you're out of excuses, everyone. <laughs>